salute and blessings as always to my real ones. Hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And I really do mean I hope you all strive for greatness. Go out there and chase your dreams because nothing really is impossible, I feel, as long as you put in that effort, you believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. With that being said, we're going to get into this topic, man. Today, a couple hours ago, I actually read um, Terrence Crawford um, had a little response to Errol Spence. You know, now we all know that Errol Spence had a fractured rib going into that fight. Um, Terrence Crawford went on to say, I done heard it all now. It's okay, though, because all in all, I'm glad it's over and done with. I wish you well, my brother. Pretty much his response to Errol Spence, pretty much saying that he don't even want the rematch. He's going to cancel it. He wants nothing to do with it. And what I want to say, man, I feel bad for both Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. I feel like a lot of times people forget when um, people are famous, um, high profile athletes, you know, in the limelight. Sometimes we forget that these dudes are human beings with feelings, bro, with feelings. And the reason that um, I feel for both of them. Now, before I start, this is why people around us, our team and our loved ones sometimes have to save us from ourselves. Errol Spence, if he knew his eye was bad, he should have never went into that fight and they should have advised him not to. Knowing he had a, a bad rib, he should have never went into that fight and his team should have advised him and made sure he didn't. Saving himself from himself. Who cares what the rest of these people say? Because at the end of the day, you still got a bunch of backlash and you still got to deal with all this BS. And you got to now let people know because I'm sure so many people have been annoying him and harassing him. And this is probably why he's doing this. Now, the reason I feel bad for Spence, like I said, man, um, it's almost like um, his whole career and all of his accomplishments People kind of forgot, man. Well, you know, when they say you're as only as good as your last victory or tell me what you've done recently. It, it's it's so true, bro, because this dude beat dudes like um, Danny Garcia. He beat dudes like Kell Brook, beat dudes like Sean Porter, um, uh, beat Ugas. You know what I'm saying? Like he's beat some quality opponents in his career. And the way that he looked against Terrence Crawford, everybody's been trashing this man. Everybody's been saying he's a basic fighter. Every, man, people have been saying all sorts of outrageous stuff that realistically, to his face, they would never dare even say 10% of it. But hey, man, that's just people, especially when it comes to YouTube, especially when it comes to social media. Sometimes these dudes get so out of pocket. Me being a small YouTube channel, you know, I learned to ignore some of these comments because, you know, recently I had someone kind of get out of line in a comment and I commented back and this dude reported me. And I couldn't comment for a day. But anyways, back to Spence. We got to remember that he's a human being, bro. All the backlash he's been getting, all like, I do feel bad for him. I feel for him, bro. Because people are trying to discredit everything this man has done in the sport of boxing. In the sport of boxing. They're not saying that, damn, this dude was a warrior. He went in there with a bad eye. Damn, this dude went in there with a broken rib. That's why he shouldn't have even fought. They're saying, oh, look at the excuses pouring in. Oh, I don't believe that um, his eye was bad. Why would he fight? You know, the, the, you know the, the stuff that you're afraid of, you know, being a man, being a warrior, I'm going to get in there and fight. The things that you fear of what people are going to say, people are going to say it anyways. People are going to talk anyways, man. And especially to people that are high profile athletes and celebrities, like I said, a lot of these dudes forget that they're human beings with feelings and emotions, bro with feelings and emotions. So I do feel for Errol Spence, bro, and I do feel he'll, he's saying all of this stuff now because he's probably sick and tired. Can you imagine all the shit that this dude's been reading? All the stuff he's been hearing if people see him outside? Man, bro, I wouldn't even want to imagine that, bro. I wouldn't even want to imagine that, bro. How he has to handle and control his emotions. And the reason I feel bad for Bud, bro, I, I think I feel bad even worse for Terrence Crawford, bro. I feel for him, bro. Because, you know, this dude, because of politics, I'll go ahead and say, was damn near impossible for him to get a fight with top level fighters, was damn near impossible. It's not that Terrence Crawford didn't want to fight these dudes. 
It's not that he wasn't calling these dudes out. It was just almost impossible for this man to get dudes into the ring. And now him having the biggest victory of his career, the biggest name on his resume, all of the sudden, now, you know, he has to hear, you know, this man had a, a, a car accident. This man was running in high altitude. He had altitude sickness. Um, this man looked like he was on the ganja. He, I mean, people were even saying. Um, now he's hearing that his eye was no good. He had eye surgery. Hearing now that his rib was fractured in the fight. Do you understand what kind of an emotional toll that would take on someone? These dudes could play, the, the, you know, put on that poker face and act like they don't care. And I get it. They got millions of dollars. But guess what? They deserve that, bro. They put the work in to put themselves in that position. They chased their dreams. They made it to the top level, bro. Hey, they got that money coming to them, bro. They deserve every single penny, man. Every single penny. You know? But a lot of times, you know, they try to say I'm rich anyways, this, that, putting on a poker face. But hey, bro, at the end of the day, they're still human beings, bro. They're still human beings with emotions. With emotions. You think it wasn't frustrating for Terrence Crawford all those years trying to land big fights and he just couldn't get them? I mean, look at what Teofimo Lopez recently said about him even, bro. You know, uh, Spence had a bad eye. Uh, Brooke had a bad eye. Benavidez had a shot leg. I mean, this dude has to hear this stuff over and over and over again every single day. Every single day. Pretty much discrediting the biggest victory of his career and how dominant and spectacular he looked in that fight. It's almost like he feels deep down in his heart for sure that he's not getting the um, respect that he feels he deserves. The performance that he put on now is kind of being tarnished with Spence having a bad eye and, and Spence having broken ribs. And like I said before that, it was much more excuses. Much more excuses. So I do feel bad for both of these dudes. And I do understand why Terrence Crawford kind of almost feels like he just wants to put this behind him, move forward with his career, move forward with his life. And just, you know, take on the next fight. Because like he said, he knows he's closer to the end. He's trying to get a few more fights in and make as much money as he can, bro. And, you know, sail off to the sunset, which I don't blame him, bro. Sail off to the sunset. He wants to put this behind him and move forward with his life. Because I'm sure that both of these dudes are sick and tired of hearing all this nonsense every single day, man. That alone, I'm sure, is super overwhelming. But this is my thoughts and my opinions on this, bro. You guys feel free to let me know in the comments how do you feel about the situation. Who's right? Who's wrong? Or do you feel for both dudes? Honestly, I feel for both dudes, man. I honestly do. And if you guys, once again, are rocking with this content, sub to the channel. Like the videos. It helps with the algorithm. Comment. We're trying to grow out here. With that being said, it's your boy Armin with Real Talk. Salute to Terrence Crawford. Salute to Errol Spence. You guys are both warriors in my eyes. And um, probably never see this video, but you just got to pay people no mind because haters are always going to hate. And always remember, if you have no haters, you're probably doing something wrong. We out of here.